Alright, welcome to patch B.0.1.6 for June 8th, 2023. Town traders now count as coven, not town members. When checking a deck has two opposing factions and the game starts. Removed the one apocalypse limit from custom game and all any. Woo! That's <coughs> not a great... Not great. Put it that way. Not great. Um, Doomsayer special bit of mail can now be used during the day. Invite to party button in the friends list will no longer show if friend is offline. So this guy really wants to claim red. Mayor roll card clarifies they cannot reveal on the stand. Trickster cannot target VIP anymore. Traitor Trickster cannot target Coven anymore. Hangman will now come from multiple vigilantes that kill the town on the same night. Change the roll reveal screen to show all scrolls you have equipped. The ones that used in the game will be consumed in fire. Anonymous node mode will no longer affect players in a party. Rapid mode will now activate in a 1v1 scenario. Variety of achievements will not be passively earned being reanimated anymore. Wildly Necronomicon priority adjusted. Dead VIP will not reassign VIP when disconnecting anymore. Added VIP player effect icon. All horsemen will now see plagued player effects. All horsemen will now see who has bread. Famine can only target players who have bread. Improved transition between scenes. That was pat. Oh, there's some bug fixes, but a little bit of bug fixes fixed. The homepage witch cackle fixed reanimating trickster verb to say taunt rather than redirect. Fixed a bug that was causing spy to see spy results of another spy. Spyception. That is all for patch six. Hope you enjoy. One more patch to catch back up. And I'm done with these archival patches. That's a lot of bodyguards, by the way. It's a lot of bodyguards.